it's already recording. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, guys? Today, we are going to keg with priming sugar, corn sugar, um, my Cooper's Real Ale. Uh, I'll put the link under the video um, when I brewed this bad boy. It includes Willamette hops, three pounds, three pounds of golden liquid malt extract, two pounds of dry malt extract, and I used an ale yeast. Um, the original gravity was 1.053, so I gotta make sure I take a, a shot. Uh, the final gravity is that as well. And uh, this was brewed on December 5th. Today would be December 27th. So what do we got there? 21 days, but just over three weeks, which is cool. Um, I waited a little bit. You may notice that all the color is a little um, clearer up here, not so much down here, and it's gradually made its way down. Um, I wanted it all to go, but we're pushing three weeks. I usually don't go past four weeks. It's gonna be fine. Uh, I'm, I'm kegging this with the corny keg, so it's actually gonna ferment a little bit while it's in there. I'll then do the remaining, the corny tanks hold 19 liters. I'll do the remaining four liters in my one liter swing top bottles. Um, and I use the old Cooper's carbonation drops to ferment that. So I'm gonna get prepared. I'll be right back. Talk to you soon. Okay guys, here we go. So what did I do? I took the priming sugar. <sighs> this came with my kit. I'm not even gonna to try to pretend how much, um, if you're bottling it, you use the full recommended amount. Each kit you get is gonna tell you a little different um, amount of priming sugar to put in. Uh, this one actually came to the bag. I don't know, is that a cup? I don't know, I'm not even gonna bullshit you this time around. Um, but when you're using a keg, you don't use the full amount. They usually recommend half. I have actually gone three quarters with the priming sugar. Um, it's worked good. I like the, uh, the head on it. Um, and it's not going to explode because it's in the freaking keg and that thing's sealed down like a bitch. So, uh, no worries there. So here we go. I got the Cooper's Delio on the go. And, uh, what did I do? I put the priming sugar. They say to boil it sometimes. I just heat it up. Um, I put it in a hot water, stirred it up, make sure it gets all done up. I'm in a bit of rough rush today. Get another family Christmas party. It's only like the fourth one in four freaking days. So I'm trying to get this done. Um, so I just heated it, put some hot water out of the tap, put the sugar in, stirred it up, dissolved it. It doesn't make any difference in my opinion. Put her in there. Now I got to make sure that this doesn't spill all over the place like it is. Son of a batch. Always does this to me. Let's bring it out a little better. Go like that. There we go, guys. Pretty slick Rick contraption here. This is the uh, Cooper's um, DIY kit that I highly recommend if you're doing, you know, 23 to 19 liter brews. This thing's badass. They get all the sediment drops underneath the spigot, which is awesome. And for doing the keg, man, can't get easier than that. We'll get a little bit of bubbling that'll have to let it uh, settle um, a little bit and then uh, top it back up to the 19 liter mark. And then, like I said, I just fill up these bottles. I have taken my uh, sample for the final gravity i'll let you know what that is once it clears a little bit so we'll do that as well and uh i probably won't do the calculations for the um uh, the abv alcohol by volume um in this video because i get them in a rush but when i do the taste test i'll have that all work good for you and hopefully we're hitting around a five uh, maybe a little over five percent because i did add you know, three pounds of golden malt on top of the cooper's real ale and two pounds of dry malt so it's got some serious uh um, sugar to ferment in that so that's cool um, so I'm gonna, and uh, then I'll be back guys now to talk about it. I'll tell you a little bit about the bottles like I said I use the carbonation drops they're cool I'll show you those and then we'll be done until taste test time all right home we just try that again okay we got her all we got her all kegged up 19 liters in there now I'm doing the uh, one liter bottles um, swing tops. You got the Cooper's carbonation drop for one liter. You do two of those, you just drop them in like that, pretty slick. And then uh, stick her into the old tap ski. This is like one of those bottle fillers where you push down on the bottom and it fills. And when you let go, it stops filling. So that's cool. Easy to bottle with these things, man, these Cooper's kits. Um, that's it. Uh, I'm done, guys. Uh, final gravity came in at one point. Zero two zero. So I'll figure out all the alcohol by volume for the taste test. Stay tuned, and uh, that's it. I'll let these sit for at least three weeks in the bottle. Then we'll be back for a taste test. That's it, guys. Have yourself a rocking day. Be sure to like this, comment, ask me any questions you got. I'll try not to bullshit you too bad. Try to come up with a good answer, and uh, 
We'll see you on the flip side, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well. Like this all the time. If you want to see a certain type of video, let me know. We'll try that. Rock.